we're here and we've got a big fat mess on our hands, but at least we can shower, put up the shower curtain. Hey Jonah, say hi. hi. <laughs> oh boy, do we have a lot. So anyways, yeah. It's a nice house. We bought it unseen. We saw it through um, FaceTime with a realtor. And this is the outside. The outside's a lot smaller than we thought it was going to be. Well, it's supposed to be 1.12 acres. And on the day after we signed, we were given the plat. <sighs> Which shows that the property goes out here and then it makes an L, a little thin walkway, and then it goes into a larger space behind three houses over there. But that is our leach field. And so from the septic, so we can't put anything on it and we, I was thinking we could probably let the chickens at least free range over there if we put some kind of, I don't know, tunnel or I, I don't really know, or just kind of fence it off which we want to do anyways so that people aren't driving over the leach field or putting their own things out there because it really is just free land right off somebody else's property it looks like you know so we're gonna have to make sure it does not get hindered in any way so we will probably put just one of those t-post fences just to show where the separation is um, as for us, I don't know really how much of an acre this is. We're supposed to have 1.12, like I said. I was really excited to be able to plant on that. We came from a spot that had 1.27, and I knew with, with you know, 1.12 I could what I could do on it because of I had kind of an idea. But, um, yeah, right now it's just... Um, yeah, I don't know. It is what it is. There's a lot of uh, these spur or burrs on these plants that are <clears throat> really sharp and round and they're out there and I'm going to have to figure out what to do with them because they are a nuisance. I got about a hundred on my dress yesterday walking out there. And um, anyways, I'm still really excited. We have our chicken coop sitting out there. We're going to put that together tomorrow. And we will put a huge garden out here. There's still plenty of room for that. I'm going to put fruit trees out here. I'm going to do probably some nectarines and peaches. I'm not sure about peaches. I need to look more into that with this humid area we're at. And uh, blueberry bushes grow really well here. So do watermelons and blackberries but I think I'm going to do mulberries because that is a tree and you get more off of it and they're thornless and a lot juicier and sweeter so I love blackberries though <clears throat> but if I'm going to choose I probably would go with the tree because the vines can just take over so yep we're excited it's a blank slate right now and you can do a lot with this. <clears throat> Excuse me. There's a lot to be done with this. Just open it real quick. We're having some rain, which is good because they haven't had it in weeks and weeks. So yeah, our neighbors are pretty close to us. We're going to have another one go right there. This is a lot different than uh, it was in Tennessee, but we're happy to be here. We're so thankful for our church family and my husband's job that's over here and the beach I'm so excited to be closer to the beach I grew up next to the beach and it reminds me of home and it's just nice to be out there watching the ocean waves and seeing the dolphins jump it's really cool so anyways yeah this is it we have a bit of a uh, yard in the front. I might just do some cut flowers on the yard up here or maybe just leave it. Maybe put a little a little uh, stand out here for people to come buy like blueberries and eggs or 
you know, just to sell a few little things. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what happens. There's a lot of plants in here um, that I need to figure out how to take care of because I really don't know how to take care of these. They're, I think it's a gardenia plant. A um, couple of them are supposed to get really big, so they they put two in here. I'm not really sure. I guess I'll have to prune them because our neighbor lady came over from across the street and was saying they get they can get really big. And sometimes the builders will just <laughs> throw some plants in that they really don't know anything about. So we'll see. But yeah, it's a nice, nice area, nice neighbors, and we are excited to be here. We we do miss Tennessee and the the land, at least I do. But uh, it's good to be here too. And the kids are excited. We have stairs, a tiny little area upstairs. Okay. What you reading, Talia? This scary book. Oh, let's see. Four Perfect Pebbles, a Holocaust story. Yeah. It's kind of intense, isn't it? Yeah. The pictures in it. Things. All right. Well, I'm going to get to oh, putting stuff away. I'm making my first espresso right now. Thank you, Mom and Dad. Wow. This is pretty cool. So I need one because I'm getting another headache. And now I've got to steam my, steam my half and half, mix with water, and have my espresso and then get started.